Assalamu alaikum I welcome you all in this lecture in this lecture we are going to learn about the strategies how a receptor tyrosine kinase um, upon exposure to a growth factor communicates the message inside the cell so there are two strategies that have been proposed so far that upon communication of a growth factor uh, the growth factor receptor upon its uh, what say what you can say upon its uh, activation let's say these small dots are the indication of uh, activation and upon its exposure with a proposed growth factor outside and this is the let's say outside of a cell and this is the inside of the cell those the growth factor communicates now is this growth factor somehow bring out uh, what you can say a promiscuous irrespective uh, protein phosphorylation to different range of and kinds of proteins present in the cytoplasm and these uh, proteins upon phosphorylation bring up uh, structural conformation and this structural conformation is leading to convey a message that we need the cell to divide or proliferate further All right so this is what we have uh, been proposed with one strategy that growth factor growth factor receptor affinity mediated phosphorylation of downstream proteins in, induce a 3d conformational change of the receptor uh, proteins so these different range of proteins were being changed on uh, their stereochemistry has been changed and they communicate this message to the nucleus and the second strategy it has been known that no the growth factor is actually inducing a translocation of cytoplasmic proteins towards the site without necessarily affecting their intrinsic affinity so jo protein hai itself yani jo a growth factor receptor ke sath binded protein hai wo wo upon activation wo upon activation किसी एक साइटोप्लाज्मिक प्रोटीन की एफिनिटी या एक या एक से मिलती जुलती ज़्यादा साइटोप्लाज्मिक प्रोटीन्स की एफिनिटी अपनी तरफ इंक्रीज करते हैं लेट मी चेंज द कलर फॉर दैट साइटोप्लाज्मिक प्रोटीन सो दैट वी कैन गेट एम गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ दीज डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ साइटोप्लाज्मिक प्रोटीन्स अपॉन वंस नोटिस दैट द ग्रोथ फैक्टर रिसेप्टर टायरोसिन काइनेज इज बिंग आउट ऑफ ऑस्ट रिलेटेड दे ब्रिंग अप दैट अटेंशन एंड दे क्यू अप to that and they bind with this growth factor receptor which in results also induce a phosphorylation to this complex and this cytoplasmic regional protein is actually responsible for a further downstream communication to the nucleus all right so far both these strategies have a very thin line to distinguish but largely the second model has been appropriately been acknowledged so far this has been established now in the second part how we came to know that this is the right signal and this is the right receptor in the cytoplasm that floating protein binds with that right receptor iske bare mein we came to know with the fact that the tyrosine kinase receptors contain inside them sarc homology domains basically sarc which was being uh, discussed in our few lectures earlier was a transforming growth factor now this transforming growth factor similar sequences were being identified and they were called as sarc homology domains so if based on the similarity of sarc homology domain 1 2 and 3 and 4 these are what you can say uh, the components which are slightly overlapping and these overlapping components came together to recognize that look there is a sh component on our counterpart receptor and this has been activated so they bind with that counterpart and transmit the signals so s h1 domain is present in both receptor tyrosine kinase and non receptor tyrosine kinase proteins that is indicating an evolutionary process and sh2 domain which is also a component of receptor RTK component and it may be present somewhere over here or somewhere over here depending upon the structural change and type of receptor tyrosine kinase it basically contains 100 amino acid sequence and it contains two core components number one is the binding site of phosphotyrosine containing peptide that is an intrinsic form that is like the receptor tyrosine kinase also gets a structural Uh, what you can say confirmatory change that is i'm going to elaborate in my next slide and second thing it contains what you can say a host 
short oligopeptide sequence meant for binding of a flanking amino acid terminal to host a flanking amino acid terminal it also contains a part any it has a binding affinity for two regions binding site of phosphotyrosine containing peptides those protein components which should be phosphorylated by receptor team tyrosine kinase and then binding affinity so these two components are necessary that the receptor tyrosine kinase in the SH2 domain in the SH2 domain you have two pockets in the SH2 domain binding site which is recognized that the upcoming cytoplasmic region from the cytoplasmic region which is which tyrosine has to be phosphorylated and the other protein component receptor tyrosine kinase SH2 domain के पास है वो short oligonucleotide peptide sequence है जो उस tyrosine के further C terminal के जो amino acids होंगे उनको अपने उपर reside करवाएगा ताकि एक binding affinity बने look at the example of SARC labeled green over here let's say 571 is being the phosphotyrosine component which has been identifying this part and the second part of this SARC is being hosted at this level ठीक है तो ये दो sites को SH domain host कर रहा है यहाँ पे now what is the mode of activation what you are saying is basically a structure of SARC protein के SARC protein के अंदर क्या ऐसी structural conformational changes आती हैं now what we are saying is like this is the C terminal and this portion is containing N terminal domain now the C terminal domain this is an inactive form of SARC in active form and this is an active form of SARC complex it's pretty simple though you don't need to worry about anything right now uh, there are two kinds of SH domain SH2 or SH3 ka matlab ta SARC homology domain 3 and SARC homology domain 2 now SARC homology domain 2 and SARC homology domain 3 uh, basically instead of forming a linear structure what you are noticing in its active form this SH2 domain binds finds an affinity at the C terminal region with 527 tyrosine though phosphorylation of this 527 tyrosine leads this SARC inactive why because it hides this N kinase it N kinase to bind with any other complex alright that's the simplest story so in an active form in in active form of SARC, SH2 binds and phosphorylates the tyrosine of its own which is labeled as 520C tyrosine okay and this is called intramolecular presentation of SARC and in intermolecular activation intermolecular activation this PDFR platelet drive growth factor platelet drive growth factor recognizes 427 tyrosine phosphate now this 427 tyrosine phosphate may be present somewhere over here leads to a structural conformation ye binding affinity of 527 tyrosine get lost okay there won't be any phosphorylation present so there is a sort of linearization linear formation of sh3 and sh2 which leads to the exposure of one the binding site binding site for PDGFR which is present where? which is present on the cell membrane okay so the binding site of PDGFR recognizes 427 tyrosine phosphate ki is ki phosphorylation ho rahi hai na okay the next step is the next step is what you can say the residual the residual complex this residual complex resides with the proline rich component of PDGFR okay तो PDGFR के साथ दूसरी जो binding site होगी वो ये वाला सारा complex entertain करेगी कि आप जो further kinases हैं ये exchange करें कि और जो machinery ने downstream signal देने हैं cytoplasm को ये उसको activate करने के लिए use करेंगे ठीक हो गया this is how cells communicate with each other ये साज class होगी ये किसने भी message किया alright so the plasma membrane contains uh, this is these are the two formations what we are trying to learn this is a growth factor upon its binding with the tyrosine receptor tyrosine complex this is h2 grb2 and uh, this grb2 is what we uh, learned k this is uh, has been identified and 
it is responsible for the uh, phosphorylation of a tyrosine over here and then sarc h uh, this grb2 grab2 isko ye grab2 bhi kehte hain this grab2 also phosphorylates guanine exchange factor also called as son of 7 and this son of 7 further leads to the uh, activation of res kyunki son of 7 wohi hai na jo ki humne last lecture mein padha tha guanine exchange factor ke sath ye uh, match kara tha aur ye identify kiya gaya tha pehle sabse pehle son of 7 ke complex ke bare mein agar aapne last lecture nahi dekha तो एक क्विक रिव्यूजन ये है कि सात सेल्स थे जो कि एक डॉसोफिला मेलंगस्टर की आई के अंदर होते हैं जो म्यूटेंट फॉर्म होती है उसमें सिर्फ और सिर्फ छः सेल्स होते हैं सातवां नहीं होता दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ ए म्यूटेशन ऑफ सेवन्थ जीन एंड दिस सेवन्थ जीन एक्चुअली बाइंड विद फर्दर डाउन स्ट्रीम सेक्टर विच इज़ कॉल्ड सॉस एंड दिस सॉस इज एक्चुअली ए रेप्लिका फॉर ए कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्मेशन दिस इज कॉल्ड सन्स ऑफ सेवन और जो हमें सेवन जीन मिला था इसकी हमने स्ट्रक्चरल हेमोलॉजी देखी थी एफ जी एफ आर के साथ और जो सन ऑफ सेवन के लिए हमने बात की थी वो हमने बात की थी कि ये सेवन जीन यीस्ट के साथ इसकी एक्टिविटी है और ये गोनिन एक्सचेंज फैक्टर के तरह काम करता है और गोनिन एक्सचेंज फैक्टर का बेसिकली काम है कि रेस की जी को गेट रेड ऑफ करे यानी जी को कहे कि आप बाहर निकलो और जी के साथ रेस की बाइंडिंग बना दे ताकि ये एक्टिव फॉर्मेशन डाउन स्ट्रीम सिग्नलिंग को कम्युनिकेट करे तो लेटर ऑन वी केम टू नो दैट दिस सन ऑफ सेवन आल्सो नीड सर्टेन इंटरमीडिएट प्रोटीन्स नाउ दीज इंटरमीडिएट प्रोटीन्स आर लेबल्ड एज ग्रैब टू सार्क इसको शार्क भी बोलते हैं एंड देन वी आल्सो नो क्रैक ठीक है दीज आर तो वट वी आर लुकिंग एट राइट नाउ इज द ग्रोथ फैक्टर रिसेप्टेड tyrosine kinase being phosphorylated by sh2 grb2 and son of 7 activated the res okay additional protein complex formations of sh2 with shark and grab has also been elaborated in this regard theek hai to iska matlab hai ki son of 7 se upar hame kuch aur uh, cytoplasmic signaling proteins bhi ab aista aista identify hona shuru ho gayi hain so now we have build up a story that the growth factor binds with the receptor tyrosine kinase and this uh, sh shark and grab 2 leads to a downstream signaling of res thank you very much for your time and attention bahut shukriya